Holy shit. Still headed into work. Got my peepers on now, but I just got a phone call from Guy. And he was like, listen, he's like, <laughs> with all of the conversations that we've been having, I'm trying really hard to stay totally calm. He's like, but I, I kind of have just been wondering if I'm fucking crazy all day. And like, I had a really bad night's sleep and I just wanted to talk to you about it. And I'm like, yeah, man, like I was up all night restless. Like, it's like when this shit happens to me, it's just like. I'm just restless. Like, I don't know why. I don't know what the fuck is going on. But I know there's weird shit going on. And he said that last night he could not sleep at all. And he has his budgy little cat named Leon. And he sleeps with him, obviously. And um, he's super cuddly and cute. But... He said Leon started acting real freaking restless and he always sleeps with his door closed. So he said that Leon started acting like wild and he was like, all right, dude, like get the fuck out of my room. And he, he put him out, he put him outside of his room and he blocked the door with like a weight because the cat will push the door open too. And he said that Leon was out there, like, like banging on his door, and he's just trying to sleep. He said he fell asleep for he doesn't know how long. Like he went into a real weird uh, limbo where he was like trying to sleep but really couldn't sleep. And he said that he got woken up. He was laying on his stomach, and he said that last night. He said it was probably had to be around four in the morning, between three and four probably. And he said he was laying on his stomach and there was something on his back. Like he felt like there was something pinning him to his bed. And it was on his back. And uh, at the same time, he felt a spider web sensation on his face. I have felt that sensation on my face when I was going through my dark nights of the soul. David Icke speaks about this while everybody's too busy laughing at him like he's crazy. David Icke speaks about the spider web feeling on your face. A lot of people are saying the same goddamn things who don't even know the other ones exist. So... He's like, is that like, was that like an incubus or like a succubus or something? And I was like, probably, yes, yes, it was probably an attack. You are in a bad mental state right now and I've, I've triggered you. It's like when you absolutely start to believe these things exist and they happen, these dark forces will descend upon you and try to scare the fuck out of you and attack you. I said, the only thing you can do is remain calm. And that kind of helps me understand why I was so fucking restless last night. Because when people I'm attached to and people I'm connected to are out there getting attacked and getting fucked. I feel it in some way and I'm not sure who or what the fuck is going on, but I feel it all of the time. I have to feel so much pain and suffering and I fucking hate it. So, we were talking about, um, oh, I'm close to work, I gotta go. We were talking about this new crystal shop that opened up in his town and how we are going to go get crystals. <laughs> Long story short, <laughs> fucking toodles.